Hi, I'm Paul from VeloX and I'm going to tell you what to look out for if you're buying a secondhand Brompton. Come join me. So as most of you know, I love Bromptons and Bromptons are great bikes. This bike here is 10 years old and it's in really good condition because I keep it in good condition. However, I've seen many examples, far too many examples of when people have brought secondhand Bromptons and they're not in good condition. They can suffer quite a lot if they're used quite heavily in the wrong circumstances and not really looked after. So I'm going to take you through what to look out for when purchasing a secondhand Brompton and what can give you kind of telltale signs that it's maybe not the best purchase and you might be better off spending a little bit more and getting a new one. So Bromptons are very much a considered purchase and a lot of people don't necessarily understand why they cost so much. That's because they're a quality product. You get what you pay for. This Brompton cost me £1,400, I think, about 10 years ago with the bag. They'll be a bit more expensive now, but it is in almost new condition and it's done so many miles. That's because I've made sure that I've kept on top of the maintenance all the time. So for me, there was a much better benefit buying a new one because I've been able to keep control of the condition. And if that's something that you have in mind, then it's definitely worth buying a new one there are some good bargains to ha be had second hand. As mentioned before, there's also some maybe suspect purchases. So what I'm going to do now is I'll let, we'll start at the front of the bike, go to the back of the bike and point out little bits that you should be look out when you're going to buy a second hand Brompton and assessing whether that purchase is right for you. With any bike, not necessarily specific to Bromptons, you always want to have a look at play in the bearing or pivot points. So the main ones are wheel, hubs, headsets, that's generic on any bike and bottom bracket and specific to the Brompton is the hinges and the rear pivot. So you want to go around the bike and see if there's any play in those parts. It's not the end of the world if there is but there's going to be a bit of money that you're going to have to spend to correct that. First off, so you grab the bike and you move the wheel in this direction there should be no play. Sometimes they'll hit against the brake pads, but there should be no play in that direction. To actually be honest with you, there is a little bit of play in my front one. Whether that's, yeah, so that needs a bit of a dressing. So a little bit of a tighten up with the cones, a bit of a loosen, a bit of grease here and there, that will sort that out. As a job, it's about 20, 25 pounds, but you want to be looking there. Now it's a good point to look at the headset. So the headset is basically a bunch of bearings on this model a bunch of cage bearings here and here they want to be done up just right so there's no play and not too tight so there's excess pressure on the bearings so a way of checking this is to grab here and here and i'm basically rocking this back and forth like that one thing you have to be careful of when you're checking a headset bearing is it can feel that it's loose because the rear pivot or the rear triangle of the bike will move at the same time so if i put the front brake on like that that feels like the headset's loose but actually if sarah focuses in you'll see that that is where the movement is so actually we don't want to rely on the front brake what we want to do is just check this up here also turn it like this it should be nice and smooth there should be no movement there it should also be nice and free not notchy not like this it should be nice and free if any of these issues come up that does need attention it's not the end of the world, but it may need a new headset or at least a service. And again, when you're buying a Brompton, you may say, okay, well, I can accept that because I'll budget for a service. But actually, if there's a lot of these issues, then actually you're probably going to need to think about whether it's the right Brompton for you. Hinges are really important. It's quite a job to replace the hinges on a Brompton. So what you want to do is check when it's unfolded like that, that there's no movement here. I had a customer who had a Brompton and he bought it for quite a lot of money like 400 pounds and um, it was there were so many problems with it it was going to be about another 600 to sort it all out so that's got a little bit of movement in it but not loads so I'm happy with that there's a tiny just a smidgen but then that's a 10 year old bike so ideally if it's under five years you wouldn't want to have any any movement there. So we also need to check the other hinge for play and what I mean by play is when there's movement in the joint 
or the bearing and that's what we kind of refer to as play we want joints and bearings to be tight not super tight because that can put pressure on the joint and the bearing but we want them to be tight enough so they can move freely so we'll check this one here so that one there no nope, that one's good to go that doesn't have any play in it and they'll get play in them because of being folded and unfolded. I had a gentleman's Brompton recently and he used it pretty heavy all winter. And actually the issue with the uh, hinges were that they were too stiff. So that's another key thing. The, ideally, you, if you're buying a Brompton second hand, you want it to fold easily. If it doesn't, then potentially the hinges have corrosion in them. As you're going through the bike, what you want to do is you also want to check if there's any problems with any welds. This bike has a clear lacquer finish, so it's very easy to see any imperfections. Most Bromptons are powder coated. Powder coating is a great finish for a Brompton because it's very hardy, but if there are any issues, it can sometimes be masked because the issue can be under the powder coat and the powder coat's quite thick. So if you've got some corrosion under the powder coat, you may not see it. So it's good just to have a kind of feel around the paint, see if there's any kind of bubbles or any cracks or anything like that. And that's the same with any bike, but definitely with a Brompton, with the powder coat just have a good glance and you can do that just by looking over the bike as you go through it seat post clamp we want that to be this can be adjusted so it's not the end of the world but you don't want it to be super loose sometimes they do give way so you definitely want that to be biting the seat post and for it not to be done up too tight but it can be adjusted with this 10 mil nut here bottom bracket wise the bottom bracket is in the center of the frame and it's the bearings or the sealed cartridge that goes through the frame that allows your pedals to spin. And they do wear out because they have loads of sideways play on them. It comes with a fag bottom bracket. The Bromptons usually do. This one I've replaced with a sealed unit from Shimano. But basically on any bottom bracket, we're looking for play here. So we're moving this from side to side. If there's a bit of play, it's not the end of the world. It's not a write-off for the bike, but it's around a 40, 50 pound job to replace that bottom bracket so you, ideally it would be a good indication of how much the bike is used depending on how much play or if any is in this bottom bracket so inside this rear pivot this allows the Brompton to fold our bushes and they wear the more you use it the more you fold it they wear mine need replacing it's about a 40 50 pound job but it's worth checking because obviously you need to allow that on top because it is something that needs to be done. You don't want to ignore that because initially the wear's on the bushes, but you don't want it to continue and continue and wear another part of the frame out. So what you would do is you push the clip here, undo it, and you just move this again from side to side. And I can feel that mine need replacing soonish, soonish. So that's the rear pivot hinge. Really important to check that when buying a secondhand Brompton. So one issue on the Brompton is this mudguard usually comes down to this bridge here on the chain stay, which is these two parts here. Now, because of that, muck congregates here. And very quickly on mine, this got very rusty. You can see that I have painted it and I've chopped the mudguard off. On the powder coated Bromptons, again, as mentioned earlier, it can get under the powder coat. So it's really good to check this area. So the, on a Brompton this will be down to here and it'll be touching so you might need to just pull it back and just check the condition of this bridge again all these things give you an indication as to how much the bike has been used so as a top tip if you want to stop this rusting then just cut off the mudguard nicely and um, this area will be a bit more freer so it's still get muck on it but you can easily just flick it off with your finger and it won't congregate there and rust away the frame especially in the winter you want to check these two parts of the frame make sure that they are not bent if someone folds the brompton and drops it quite heavily these can bend and they're almost near enough impossible if it's had a real whack to bend them back because it's it just needs a lot of force to get them back and yeah not good because also if one of these is bent when the bikes folded it it'll all be a bit lopsided and a bit of an unhappy Brompton. You need to check the rear wheel to see if there's any play. Again, it's very difficult for me to do on this bike because there is play in the hinge. But again, you can try and isolate the wheel down here. That doesn't have any play in it. So that's a good indication. You want to check rim wear. So these rims are worn. They're 
and what happens to rims when you break on them is they wear away and over a period of time they wear sufficiently that it affects braking and worst case scenario the, wind can, the rim can fully wear out. These aren't too bad but what you're looking for is you want this braking surface to be nice and flat. At the moment this is slightly concave so if you come across a Brompton where the surface is concave, concaved it's potential that it might need a new set of wheels or a wheel rebuild so that's something probably you know if it's a you might need a budget for or might put you off buying but definitely with any bike you want to check that this surface here is nice and flat and last but not least is the chain so most of you might know or you might not be aware chains wear we've done a video about it and the link can be found just here so have a look at that as a separate video that talks about chain wear but basically if the chain's worn it wears down the cogs and if you have a really badly worn chain and this is on any bike it can be quite an expensive repair because you've got to think chain cogs sprockets all of that also it's worth if you're going to buying a little chain tool they're about 15 pounds but if you're going to go out and buy brompton check the chain if it's heavily worn you know that the person's just not been looking after the bike so i'd say stay away from it if it's nicely within the parameters of what's in our video then you know the person's either been one looking after the bike regularly which is great or actually the bike's had quite light use as a mechanic i can look at a bike and think well this has been used heavily and this one hasn't and i guess that's what we're trying to do in this video is to give you some tools that if you're going to go and buy one you're buying with your head and not your heart so you can think about is this the right purchase for me Bromptons are great bikes but I can guarantee you you don't want to spend a lot of money on one that isn't fit for purpose for you a second hand one so yeah hope you've enjoyed the video if you have any more questions about what I've done or any specific items that you'd like more clarification on please leave it in the comments also if you've got any top tips about what you would check for on a Brompton if you were buying second hand then also leave it in the comments Thanks for watching and please subscribe.